The last year has seen the launch of two important NASA projects, both of which are shedding light on a gap in interstellar communications. Each of NASA's far-flung spacecraft, from the Orion capsule to the James Webb Space Telescope to Voyager 1, is linked to Earth through the Deep Space Network, a network of 14 antennas spread over three locations in California, Spain, and Australia. However, the Artemis 1 mission has added to the difficulty of scheduling enough communications time for all missions operating beyond Earth's orbit. On November 16th, NASA finally launched Artemis 1, the 25-day mission which sent an unmanned Orion spacecraft into lunar orbit and is due to crash down on Earth on December 11th, is a test trip to start off the agency's return to the Moon. Orion's near constant communication with the Deep Space Network while it's in flight and beyond low Earth orbit is a substantial drain on resources that has forced the James Webb Space Telescope and other missions to take a back seat. Understanding that Artemis will place a burden on the Deep Space Network, NASA upgraded several antennas and installed two additional ones in January 2021 and March 2022. However, there is a severe lack of available communication time. After Artemis 1's launch, it may be up to 80 hours, or approximately three and a half days, with no touch with JWST. JWST scientists usually send commands to the $10 billion observatory about once a week. However, scientists won't be able to take use of Webb's potential until the telescope can send back its findings via radio signal before its onboard computer is overrun. The Space Telescope Science Institute in Maryland, which controls both JWST and the Hubble Space Telescope, rearranged JWST's observation schedule for the Artemis 1 mission. In order to prevent the telescope's computer from filling up before the Deep Space Network can take the next batch of data, scientists have prioritized shorter observations, which generate smaller batches of data. However, scientists seek a new solution to the communications bottleneck since NASA anticipate future Artemis flights, including these with people on board, in 2024 and beyond. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.